So that puts that to rest, right? So that's good because those rumors were kind of scary. And I was wondering, like, they're going to have to do some major finessing to try to strip that belt from him and fans were going to. But if you really think about it, it's all about sanctioning fees, right? With these organizations. So for those who don't know, the WBC, WBA, WBO, IBF, especially the WBA, how do they make money? They make money because fighters pay to be their champion. That's why Premier Boxing Champions tried to make their own titles. UFC has their own titles. Even if um, the Endeavor Group were to buy PBC, they still, the rumors are, want to make their own titles. Because the whole system really doesn't make sense, especially when you look at the WBA who abuse it. And if they were to ever fall, they would be their own downfall because fans are... You know, like, how do you just make up tight? It doesn't make any sense. So the WBO is not going to try to finesse. They're not going to try to strip. They're not going to strip Andy Ruiz. And all the titles are going to be on the line when he takes on Anthony Joshua in the rematch. It's happening. And one big piece of news is that now it seems as though it is not going to the UK. And it's going to happen here, the rematch in November or December. Where? Is it a Vegas fight? Is it another Madison Square Garden fight? I'm likely not going to be there. <laughs> they are pissed at me. You know, I, I left, but whatever. We still provided top quality, consistent, unbiased coverage. And I was blessed to be there. But still, in my personal opinion, I think Andy Ruiz wins the rematch. It's very risky for them to go directly into an immediate rematch, but they had to or... Those belts would have surely definitely belonged to Al Heyman, PBC, and whoever's going to own whatever. So I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. We got a podcast starting soon. Wow. A weekly show starting soon. Two of them. And even a fight day special edition show with call-ins. Man, oh man, I've been working. So people say, man, shit been dead and right here. No, it ain't. Weekend still always lit on my channel. Always. Weekdays, we're fixing that. I really have no joy in the weekday con uh, content anymore. Unless it's stuff like this. That's breaking news and I get hyped. Like real, real news. Not just, oh, well, I'm going to do a breaking news because somebody put out a tweet. Three words and I'm going, ha, <laughs> ha. And y'all know I'm always taking shots. So deal with it. I'm happy for Andy Ruiz, man. And people, you know, they just, now I guess they understand. He's always been good. Yeah, he's had some lapses. But he's always had fast hands. He's always had an excellent sparring resume. Excellent um, reputation among other boxers. They've all said in the buildup, all of them. Like, yo, he's nice. I don't know if he's going to win, but, yo, he's nice. Now he's living the dream. How many Instagram followers does he have now? Last, Let me see. Last I checked, this is probably like last week. He had like 619,000 or something. Let's see how many he have now. Is it a million yet? Close. Mexican president. He's got a Snickers belt. Shit is lit. So Tyson Fury is taking on Tom Schwartz. We still have, it, it looks like it's not going to be a WBO eliminator. I expect for the WBO to now order the winner of Tyson Fury, Tom Schwartz, to fight the winner of Dylan White, Oscar Rivas. Now, the rematch for Wilder Fury has been confirmed by both sides that it's done and deal, done. Now, Tyson Fury may say, he's got some interviews saying, you know, he hasn't signed anything, whatever. But who matters in that situation? The interview that we covered where Bob Arum and Frank Warren, the people who would be making the deal, say, yeah, you know, it's done. We just, everybody's working on getting the venue, meaning um, Top Rank and Frank Warren and all of them are doing their part. And PBC Al Heyman, you know, they're all doing their part. So, you know, to me, it's done. But what is Tyson Fury going to do if he beats Tom Swartz? Tomorrow, Saturday night, ESPN Plus, Tyson Fury vs. Tom Swartz. That's how they be. Big auction. Uh, <laughs> the, who the fuck was that? Who voice was that? 
I don't know where I got that from. Isn't Tom Schwartz German? All I picture is some German little skinny blonde here dude with a patent leather jacket and some sunglasses. Where we at? What was I looking for? Oh, Tom Schwartz. But yeah, we got a morning show, man. What? I'm mean, spelled the man name wrong. Tom Swartz. No, it's Swartz. I forgot how he said it. It's Tom. It's Tom Swartz. Swartz. You got to spit a little bit on the, on the side of your mouth. It's Tom Swartz. I ain't only 25. Damn. You're going to get school tomorrow. Yeah, you're German. Anyway, I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.